everywhere. And I'll tell you, fans had reason to be excited and optimistic. First time the road team has won three games in the Kelly Cup Finals. Walleye, of course, six in a row on the road. And Billy Christopoulos, a big reason for that win on Wednesday. He tallied 32 saves in that game. Now, he would be tested early and often again tonight. First period, Everblades on the power play. Jake McLaughlin in front of the net. Christopoulos able to knock it away, but Florida centering the puck at the top. They get it back around to McLaughlin. Going to hit the one-timer, finds the back of the net as the Everblades take the lead just eight and a half minutes into the game. The Fish talked all week about controlling the controllables, playing within themselves, and they had a response six and a half minutes later. Josh Dickinson with an assist by Brandon Hawkins. We are tied at one after the first period, and Toledo with a chance to take the lead three and a half minutes into the second. TJ Hensick to the glove side, beats Cam Johnson, but it is off the post, mere inches between ecstasy and heartbreak. It would stay tied at one into the third. And Johnson has been excellent throughout the series, stifling another scoring opportunity in the third. Denies Ryan Lowney. Under three to go, Walleye on the power play. Again, Fish 0 for 5 with the man advantage up to this point. Not anymore. Matt Berry, shorthanded goal. Toledo leads 2 to 1, but it's not over until it's over. 30 seconds left. Everblades pull the goalie. Joe Pendenza, one-timer, ties it at two. We are headed for overtime. And while I had their chances in the extra period, but Johnson put up a stone wall between the pipes, made 40 saves on 42 shots. Everblades outshot the fish 8-13-8 eight, to eight in OT. Leaves it for Lucas Cable. He beats Christopoulos glove side. That's the game winner. Fish fall 3-2 in Florida. A tough one to swallow just 23 seconds away from evening the series. Well, we still have to believe, right? Like, it's, it's about us as a team in there. Uh, the minute we think we're done, that's when you are going to be done. So we just have to, again, regroup quickly here, uh, understand how bad that hurts. But again, regroup, refocus, and win, we got to win a road game to get it back home. I thought we had a lot of good chances. You know, uh, Johnson made some really big saves when needed. They scored some big goals when needed. Um, you know, and, and uh, it is what it is. We got to turn the page, be ready to refocus, and our backs are really up against the wall at this point, so we have to make sure that we put our best effort in tomorrow night. Less than 24 hours out, you've got some tired legs, I'm sure. How do you kind of mentally refocus? Well, you know, they have to make sure that uh, they get their proper rest and their hydration and food and all that good stuff, but we talk about being mentally tough in certain situations and facing adversity, and that's what we have to do. We have to make sure that, you know, we, we put our minds to it. It's one play, one shift at a time mentality. Um, can't worry about what the series is at right now. We've got to win them all. So we start off here by tomorrow night, getting off to a great start, feeling confident, and continue to push. Matt Melzack and Claire Dow join us now with more from Florida. All right, thank you, Dorian. Uh, yes, uh, boy, disappointing, I think, is the way to put it because I think, uh, Claire, first off, before we talk heavy, heavy about this game, Toledo deserved a better fate tonight with the way they played second period on. They really did. It felt like they outplayed them the whole time. They did everything but score a goal, and then they did late in the third. What we thought was late, little did we know that just 20 seconds to go, it'd all be knotted up and we'd head to OT. Yeah, but certainly the rebound. I mean, Toledo... They should have been down after one period of play. Uh, Billy Christopoulos was the difference. Yeah, first. goalies for both sides were the difference, but Billy absolutely kept the Toledo walleye in it in the first. And really, if you look at shots on goal, and I know there's more opportunities than are than what are just tallies to, tallied as shots, but Toledo really turned it on. They were frankly a little lucky that they were tied 1-1 after one when you look at opportunities and shots on goal, but Toledo just kept digging themselves out of the hole kept it a competitive game the entire time and frankly outplayed Florida it felt like the entire second half of the game they did even into overtime you look at the saves that Cam Johnson came up with and this is this is the thing you you've got two very good teams mm -hmm. you've got two very good offenses two very good defenses and two very good goaltenders and sometimes you get a goaltender that's going to stymie you and in that overtime uh, Toledo had four or five really good opportunities that easily could have won the game Cam Johnson made the saves, and then on the other side, hey, Florida makes a play, and they get the win. And especially, you have to remember, too, I mean, they've played well over 75 minutes of hockey, too, tonight, where you're getting tired, you're getting run down, but you couldn't tell as they're playing. And Florida just kind of, you don't really want to call it a lucky bounce. It was They, they made a great play, and it, it beat Toledo. And here we are, and now back's against the wall. you got to win out. Yeah, you got to win out. That's the key for Toledo. 
They need to win and focus on just tomorrow night. If they win tomorrow night, the series at least still gets back to Toledo, and then they'll get their home fans behind them for game six. But they're down three games to one. Must win coming up tomorrow night.